Today we want to look at the testimony of Abdullah bin Sulam. And what we must understand about Abdullah bin Sulam is that he was indeed a Levite. Okay? Um, so this is important. His testimony is important. What we see that he did in his life where it concerns the prophet is important. One of the most important and profound statements that we gather from Abdullah bin Sulam, Abdullah bin Sulam confirms that Muhammad came with the same mission as Moses. We all know that the mission of Moses was directed towards the Israelites to save them from slavery. Yahweh had heard the situation, he had seen their suffering, and he decided to keep his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and to deliver the house of Israel. It remains of vital importance for us to talk about our family members. Abdullah bin Sulam was a family member. Muhammad was a family member. Jesus and Muhammad are our family members. So this is ancestors that we're talking about, okay? And we're dealing with the plight of our people today, okay? Racism has taken over all of the religions of Abraham, We've separated ourselves. We've done treachery to one another. And this is all because we have been infiltrated, not only by outsiders, but also by people from amongst the family. They have worked against the crown. They have worked against Jehovah's purposes. They have worked against the people. We have slain one another. We have oppressed one another. We have locked one another up. And these are the realities today with the house of Israel. So it's important for us to look at the testimony of Abdullah bin Salam to understand that they always tell us that with Muhammad was some Ishmaelite Arabs. Well, we can clearly see there were many Israelites who were following the prophet Muhammad. So when they erroneously refer to that Arab group of Ishmaelites, this is proof that there were Israelites also amongst them being called Moors being called Arabs, being called Berbers, okay? Foreigners have never been able to distinguish us, okay? And they still cannot distinguish us today. They know absolutely nothing about us except for what is common knowledge. And this is important for us to understand because we've gotten to a place inside of our family that we want to believe what other people who are not related to us have to say about our family. When in all actuality, it doesn't matter. So let's take a look at the mission of Moses again so that we can reconfirm the reality of the Israelite prophet Muhammad. They have gone against the messianic reality for this time to confuse you so that you will miss the salvation of Yahweh Allah and misunderstand his plan of salvation. But Muhammad indeed was from the house of Israel. Muhammad indeed came to deliver the Israelites. Well, you say, well, what were they being bound by? Slavery in the Arab Peninsula. Slavery was going on amongst the Jews, our families, and idolatry. So we read in the book of Revelations about how they will be working a sorcery that is idolatry based, fostered by idolatry. Okay. And it would weave a deception around the minds of men. This happened in Egypt. Yahweh sent Moses. This happened again in Arabia and it would continue to happen. It has happened again in the diaspora. Okay. And we see that our enemies right now are fighting in the Red Sea right now. So he says, go ye both to him and say, verily, we are apostles sent by thy Lord. Send forth, therefore, the children of Israel with us and afflict them not. With a sign indeed have we come from thy Lord. Okay. And then we find in the Bible, 
Moreover, I have heard the groaning of the Israelites whom the Egyptians are enslaving, and I have remembered my covenant. So we understand that Muhammad's presence and manifestation as a prophet was a sign of Yahweh's covenant to us. It was the fulfillment of his covenant to us. And the light would always remain on in the house of David. So there are some important things that we need to look at in the life of Abdullah bin Salam. We need to look at the fact that he was watching prophecy and he was expecting. Mm -hmm. We also understand that as he watched the prophecy and was expecting of prophecy, when he recognized the prophecy in the person of Prophet Muhammad, he responded to the prophecy with his faith. As he recognized the prophet to be the character that was described in the prophecies. Now we're looking at Abdullah bin Salam, who was a priest and also a well-educated and well-learned man. And he was the leader amongst his people. And we go through the story and we find that out. And indeed, we also find in the same Sirat al-Rasulullah, the testimony by Muhammad himself, that he was the first person to resurrect the order of Allah, to revive the order of Allah and his book and to what? Practice it. Muhammad was practicing the Torah. See, there's a lie and a conspiracy inside of the Abrahamic house about the prophets. And they have done this to make useless the message. But Yahweh always sends his apostles to confirm and to make clear and to give explanation.